Hello and welcome again to Torque Wagon. Today we're going to continue working on the Suburban Manual Swap and what we're going to do is uh, get that clutch pedal put in, get the, the manual pedal set put in and then uh, we're going to install the clutch master cylinder. So uh, it's going to take a while because I work slow but that's okay because this project's been sitting for a year without the transmission in it. So it can, it can wait a little longer. Let's get into it. Thanks for watching. Hey, I just wanted to take a second to say thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate every person who comes to this channel and watches, and especially uh, if you subscribe, if you like the videos, that's great too. Uh, so thanks for stopping by. If you like the video, click the thumbs up, give it a nice like. And if you want to see more in this series, or if you want to see some of the other stuff I'm doing, click the subscribe button and then click the bell to get notifications. Thanks again for watching. So I'm getting ready to drill holes. As you can see, there's a spot on the firewall already stamped in there. And I'm going to show you under the dash too, where there's actually uh, pilots for the, the the holes. So I shouldn't have too much trouble drilling this out. Let's see. So I'm going to show you here the screwdriver. This is the stamped section here for the clutch master cylinder, and here's one of the dimples for the hole. Here's another one right here, and the other one's up there. So I shouldn't have too much trouble drilling holes here. The, the hardest part, if I drill from the inside, I'll be getting the drill bit in here. I can't really see those dimples from the outside, so that uh, might be my main problem, but we'll see what, what I can do, and I'll see if I can get a good shot of me drilling some holes. So as it, as it turns out, there's a plastic piece part of a covering on the firewall, covering the actual firewall. Now I can see the three dimples on the outside here. So I'm gonna drill the holes from out here. I'm gonna start out drilling the outside holes to about three eighths of an inch, maybe a little bit bigger. Drilled. I'm going to go ahead and remove the holder for this uh, for the jack here. It's just a couple 10 millimeter bolts uh, accessible from the wheel well. And now it should be a little easier to drill some of these holes. There we go. Oh, it's not quite big enough. I'm gonna have to figure something else out. Oh, it's gonna have to get a lot bigger though. I'm about to fit all the way in. Okay, stay tuned. So a quick recommendation when you're drilling these holes out, I would drill the center one first and then put the clutch master cylinder in and mark the spots for the other holes because I had some difficulties lining things up. I had to make the holes bigger and it's not exactly like it should be. I think it'll work out just fine. But uh, if I would have drilled the center one first and then used the master cylinder as a template, I would have been in even better shape. So just a tip. Okay, I've got the Hydro Boost assembly pulled out of the way just so I can get that pedal assembly in there a little bit easier. I've also got the uh, master cylinder for the clutch assembly out of the way too. 
Okay, I have been fighting with this thing to get the pedal set back in there. I've disconnected the hydro boost setup and pulled it out of the firewall into the engine bay. And I've been moving <laughs> a bunch of wires out of the way. It's just, I I'm wrestling this thing up in here uh, because the dash is kind of intact, not completely, but uh, obviously you've got to take the steering column out for all this. Um, it's just hard to get the pedal set back in uh, with a brake pedal and a clutch pedal uh, because the bracket's bigger uh, than just the brake pedal bracket. So struggling along, but we'll make it. Okay, so I've wrestled with the pedal assembly a little bit, tried to get it test fitted in there. I'm uh, relatively confident in what I'm doing. So now I've got it all pulled back out and I need to bolt some brackets and things back to the pedal assembly that I took off the old one. Uh, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it all back in there. We'll see how it goes. There you have it. Clutch pedal is installed. We've got three pedals in the Suburban now. I'll show you that in just a minute. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with the steering column yet. I have three that I can work with. Uh, I'm probably gonna do something to combine some parts from all of them if I can figure that out. All right, just wrapping up with the bolts. Well, with the, the nuts that go in the studs for the clutch master cylinder. I ended up, I didn't have these nuts, so I took one of the studs to hardware store and it's a M8 by 1.25 uh, for the uh, threads. Maybe that's the right bolt, maybe it's not, that's what fit the best, so, or maybe it's the right nut. We'll see sturdy should work for a reservoir i'm using this little setup i got uh, actually on ebay it's for an s10 i couldn't find the exact part that fits this clutch master cylinder uh, if you got some self-tapping screws you can put it on the fender or the firewall i will probably zip tie it somewhere because it sounds about like something i would do um, And I also have, that seems pretty, I have to clamp that like crazy. Um, and then I also have 
the line that is supposedly, I'll show you. I also have a line that is supposed to be an exact fit for the oh, 85 to 92 square body truck manual transmission uh, clutch master cylinder lines. So that should go straight to where I, I want it to go on the bell housing for uh, the slave cylinder. We'll see. I'll install that at a later date. We'll install that later when we get the bell housing put on. That should just about wrap it up for today. We got the old pedal set out, the new one in, the clutch master cylinder installed. It's all bolted up. Uh, everything is bolted up as far as I can get right now. Uh, next time we'll tackle the bell housing, the clutch slave cylinder, try to get those two things connected. Uh, try to get the master cylinder connected to the slave cylinder and see if we can get the uh, clutch fork to work. Tune in next time. Thanks for watching.